Good morning, it is 9.20 a.m. I just came back from a shower because I'm at a company location. You can have unlimited showers and laundry. And today is going to be the very last delivery that I make with variants. I'm gonna still be in trucking, but it's gonna be with a different company. But first, I have to start the pre-trip right now. And then I can get into talking about why I'm leaving and all that. I think about it, this will be my very last pre-trip with old, old Gerald. Kind of sad. And the new company I'm going with, they don't have, uh, they don't have Kenworths. But I've heard good things about them that way outweigh the fact that there won't be any Kenworths there. Uh, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, and that's good, that's good. Oh, and the good thing, this is literally a brand new trip. No one's probably used this trailer. It was manufactured in October of 2022. It's December first right now and then i had to go through a whole look at these tires the tread on these tires they're amazing everything and everything look shiny new even the airlines everything they have disc brakes everything gonna have no problems oh. We are going, I'm in Georgia right now, Ellenwood, Georgia at the terminal and we need to make our way to, it's like Huntsville, Alabama. Well, they gave me a delivery that picks up at midnight tonight. That means like I'll have to like drive at like 11 p.m. when normally I don't start driving at like 3 a.m. I mean it is, it is what it is, right? It's my last delivery. They want to get me home, so this is probably the best they could do. What's the easiest route to get out of here? And then we're out of here. I need to get on the highway, and then I can explain why I'm leaving. Now, there's an opening. Where's an opening? Oh, after this black car. Now, this black car. Yeah. Go! 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 52. There we go. Two and three quarter miles. Keep left to I 285 West. Alright. So, why I'm leaving Varian? It's just pay. That's it. I mean, if someone's gonna pay you more to do literally, literally, the exact same job. I mean, I'm gonna take it. And this other company, they're rumored to treat their drivers very, very well. Now, I don't know if that's true because you know what trucking is. It's a lot of talk, talk, talk just to get you to sign on with them and join their company. So I need to test them out. And that's why I'm not saying, I'm not saying who I'm switching to. All right, guys, I gotta get over. I'm gonna do the same thing I did with Varian. Or like um, I'm gonna go undercover for like 30 days and not reveal who I am. Just go like through a, a testing out phase, you know? Cause I need to see what it's, what it's really alive, like. Keep left, to 285 West. And how everything works and whether or not it's a good fit for me. Looks like it's gonna rain pretty bad. Okay, Garmin. Truck stop along my route. Yeah, I, I'm not driving in this. Forget this. Delivery will be late. I'll, I'll be late to pick up the delivery for sure. I'm not getting into an accident. You know, the weather has lightened up. I'll see if I can make it even farther. I found a 
truck stop on the GPS finally. It's about an hour and a half away and that should get me like within half an hour of the place I need to pick up today at midnight which is good. I don't know where I am right now but for some reason GPS took me through this town. It's like 50 minutes away, an hour away. There it is, right there on the left. Turn left on County Route 42. Uh, there's plenty of parking. Turn yeah. left on US 72. So a really small truck stop because there wasn't a there wasn't like a big chain truck stop that was close. Oh, oh my gosh. This is a massive freaking drop off. Oh my. It's, it's like half a foot. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. In one and three quarter miles, make a U-turn. Make another U-turn? I'd say right there. Alright, we are done, but how far am I from the, hopefully less than half an hour? An hour? An hour? Alright, I found another truck stop that the GPS didn't pick up. It's a very small one right here. I'm just gonna go there. So that way, I don't have to wake up at 11 p.m. I can wake up later, and then I can pick up at midnight. And then, honestly, probably when I do pick this up, I'm going straight to sleep. Because I'm not, this isn't my sleep schedule. And Variant knows that, because they always book my loads at 3 a.m. So that means uh, I'll be on time to pick up but I'll be late to deliver. It's a, a drop and hook load, or like I'll just like drop the trailer in their yard. These type of deliveries, uh, the people I deliver to usually really don't care. As long as I deliver the same day, it doesn't matter because they're not gonna start unloading the trailer until like maybe like a day or two later. You know, so it doesn't matter what time I really get there, as long as it's the same day. I genuinely don't understand what happened. It's telling me to drive back the way I came, 47 miles. But at the same time, I checked Google Maps. It says, yeah, it is going the right way. I am going to the truck stop and I am going to the place that I'm delivering to. So, I put the right address in. How was I driving for like an hour going the wrong way? I don't understand. Uh, yeah. I don't know. You're here. Come on, truck. Go. Go. Arriving at 2064 Highway 72 East, Huntsville, Alabama, 35811 on the oh, right. Where is the parking spot? I came in through the wrong way. Uh, I'll park next to this trailer here. I definitely want to park next to something here. You don't want to have like one spot empty on your left, one spot empty on your right here because then someone's going to hit your truck. And this is... Who the heck designed this? Oh my gosh. What the heck? Oh my gosh, that's not even set up right. Mm 
That's pretty good. All right, off duty. Gosh, I'm so pissed off. They they booked the load. They know I drive at 3 a.m. I have to leave at like probably 11:50, and then once they're done loading the trailer, I'm most likely just gonna just gonna find a place to park and go to sleep. And then that's gonna make the de delivery late. But who cares? Who cares, right? At this point, you gotta set boundaries. It's not unreasonable to ask from a job that you work relatively the same hours. All right, well, I'm gonna go cook and do all that. And then I have to get up later. Good morning, it is midnight. I'm here at the place to pick up my delivery. I didn't film the way here because you can't see anything at night on GoPro. Like, it'll just be a blurry screen, so there was, there was no point. He told me, he told me to back in the door 22, and then just drop my trailer like this, and then unhook from the trailer, and then uh, park, park back there. And it, that, they were gonna call me whenever it's done. Yeah, park in this spot right here. Oh, dude, this is easy parking. All I gotta do is go here, there all right literally all I have to do is not turn the wheel and I'll make it into the spot well, that's it now we'll start turning right to go left a little bit a little bit more a little bit a little all right we got it Pretty sure. They have a chalk. Oh man. Yeah, that's good. Well, they have a chalk I have to put. Yeah, right here. Of course, you can't probably see it. But I put a chalk there. Lock, landing gear. Ah, lock, landing gear, locking jaws, airlines. We're good to go. We're good to go. Uh, park over there. And then I'm gonna go to sleep. This is way too dang early. It's way too, it's midnight. This is too early. It's too early to do anything. It's insane. No, I can't block that. I will be good. If someone wants to park next to me, they should, they should have enough space. I oh, don't know, I can't move over anymore. That wheelchair thing, lift is in the way, so. Oh, I can't turn that off. All right, I'm going to sleep. All right, I am out of here. So, I fell asleep while they were loading the trailer. They were actually done at like 1.49 a.m. That's when they called me. But I didn't wake up until like 5, maybe like 5.40 a.m. I was tired because this isn't my sleep schedule. But now I'm on my way to uh, Tennessee to stop at a truck stop uh, because I need fuel. And then from there, Tennessee, I'll go all the way to Ohio. Alright, we gotta fill up on diesel and def for the last time on this truck. And then we got to turn it in the terminal. Um, for the delivery, I am. <laughs> it's gonna be late. I think it was like scheduled for me to be there at like uh, 11:45 p.m., but I won't get there until like probably 4:30 or 5 p.m. I mean, it is what it is. 
The good thing is that it's dropping hook, so it shouldn't really matter that I'm late. They probably won't get to actually unloading the stuff that's in the trailer uh, until a couple days after I deliver it anyways. But we'll see. In one quarter mile, arrive at I-64 rest area eastbound on the right. I need to stop here to take my lunch break. I, I am friggin' hungry. I mean, I think I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm in Indiana right now. Okay. There we go. Let's go get some food. I think I have a sandwich. I don't want to cook anything because it's going to take... Oh, I should set my timer. It's going to take longer than 30 minutes to cook. Does it really matter at this point if I'm going to be this late? I'll get there at like 5. It's supposed to be there at 11. I think at this point, it doesn't matter if I cook. <laughs> I think we're past that. Oh my gosh. I have lamb? Oh. <gasps> Dude, I don't even have to eat this. Oh, this is awesome. Lamb and rice with the yum yum sauce. Oh, but then this, and I'm gonna have avocado. I don't want this anymore. Now, this is a little overdue avocado. Oh, oh that's still good. I'll eat like half the avocado. Why is it still not aged? Yes, it smells delicious. I think I really need to pre-cook the meals. So we're already like, it's already on a, on a healthy job as it is. I'm making it more unhealthy. Oh, well, like I eat pretty healthy, but like during lunch, I don't. And there's the avocado. It tastes good. Mm. It's pretty good. Alright, it is time to get going again. I have about four, let's say five hours just to be safe left on this trip. I should get there around like five. I don't know, now it's at 6 o'clock. I am going to miss these Kenworths just by their ride quality alone. I'm going to be moving into a Freightliner. But the good thing about the Freightliner at the new company, tons of storage. So it's like kind of like a trade-off. I mean, it is what it is. You can't have everything, you know? You know, it, it, it's kind of sad that I have to leave, but I got to do what's best for Alex, you know? And what's best for me is leaving. So that's what I'm gonna do. I can't say that like I won't miss working here, but and hopefully, hopefully this new company is as good as everyone says it is. But you never know until you actually work there and actually see what it's really like and what's really going on. My gosh, there's a lot of traffic. I'm in, um, I'm either in Columbus or Cincinnati, Ohio. Oh, you guys better stay in your lane, man. There's a cop pulled someone over in the far left lane. Where are you, um? Oh no, he didn't even pull anyone over. Well, there's two cops. Oh, there was an accident. There was an accident in the far left lane. There was a tow truck there. Oh, it must have been pretty bad if you need a tow truck to take the wrecked car out. We got another like two hours to do the delivery. This is the real city right here. I, I'm literally downtown. Every freaking trucker's nightmare. 40 mile an hour curve. I go 
it says stay here for a hundred miles stay on this highway for a hundred miles I'm gonna stay in the middle lane because every time in a big city I stay in the right lane any big city there's a higher population right which means there's a higher number of people on the highway higher number of people trying to merge onto the highway and if I'm in the right lane it's gonna be me battling against a bunch of people that want to get on the highway so I learned stay in the middle lane it's nighttime <laughs> I drove freaking 615 miles I'm here at my delivery I got to thinking I did something wrong I was looking at Google Maps the place where I started from to here is nine hours yesterday I drove four hours but today I drove ten and something hours did I drive four hours going literally the opposite direction of where I needed to go I don't know the last two hours I've been trying to figure out what the heck happened now I gotta park this trailer I don't know should I get an empty trailer because after this this is my last delivery I'm just gonna turn the truck in unless they're gonna give me another delivery I'm too close to the terminal right now for them to what are they gonna give me like a hundred mile delivery is there even such a thing doubt it oh no I'll have to I'll have to call them Uh, it's absolutely freezing. My God, it's so cold. But honestly, that's what I'm thinking I'm gonna do. Because in order to unseat my truck, return my truck, I have to get all my stuff out of the truck. And then what I'm thinking is why don't I just bobtail home without a trailer? That way I can actually park in front of my house and the truck will actually fit. And then, when I'm in front of my house, I just take my stuff out, put it in my house, and then drive the truck to the terminal, and then just drop it off there. I think that's what I'm gonna do. All right, now I need to find a place to park. Okay, Garmin. Which result would you like? So loves. Let's see, let's double check. Let's, let, let's actually plan ahead and see where I'm going to park if I get there if this truck stop is actually big enough All right, it's a pretty decent size All right, they have bobtail parking right there but if that's full they have more bobtail park they have a lot of bobtail parking they have even more bobtail parking. Oh my gosh. How freaking lucky am I? They have one, two, three. They gotta have a parking spot for me. Oh man. My luck, man. That's amazing. I'm out of here. I just got the all clear from a fleet manager at Variant that Yes, I can go bobtail home, uh, get all my stuff out of my truck, and then return it, return the truck, old Gerald, to the terminal. This is the last time you'll see me in this truck. It's crazy. It's crazy, right? But, I'm not really all sad I'm more I'm kind of excited to go with this new company honestly just excited to just start something new and that I know will be well I don't know it'll be better but from what I've heard it is better and it'll push me toward the person that I want to be in life to help me get there faster so this is it bye bye